raised money to build a school in Kenya. Now that school and the students who become their friends are in danger as the African country is torn apart by violence. CBS 2's Christine Sloan has their story. This home video shows students at the St. Paquita Nursery School in Kenya laughing and playing, but now these innocent children are caught in the middle of ethnic and political violence. They're children. What did they ever do to deserve this? Catherine Martin and members of the Mary Knoll Club at Red Bank Catholic High School have been sponsoring the children for the past four years, raising over $10,000 to buy these chairs, tables, and food. We haven't personally met these children, but I feel like they're my brothers and sisters because they are, and I really have a spiritual bond with them. But since the unrest, the fate of the students is unknown, according to an email sent by missionaries this morning. The students were told to move out by Tuesday or they would be hacked or killed. We hope that they're all okay, but there is a possibility that one of these kids may not have survived the conflict. The only thing these seniors know is the little school still stands as most of the town is set on fire. Of course I'm worried. You know, I'm worried about my friends who are the missionaries over there. I'm particularly worried about the children. And this little boy in a wheelchair. My concerns are like that since he is in a wheelchair, like he's not able to run for his life if he's being chased by a gang. Teenagers say they are determined to raise more money. On Valentine's Day, they plan on holding an ice cream Sunday drive, hoping that everyone in the school will donate. In Red Bank, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. For information on how you can donate, log on to our website, WCBSTV.com. Click on Links and Numbers. It's on the left side of our homepage. What a project for them. Great. Up those students, too. Yes. Go to those links and to stay with so it. far away and to stay with it and be concerned about them. Coming up, sending up.